Hello there, and welcome to Southampton. For a big city, there are a lot of green spaces and amazing trees. The parks are full of statues, bandstands and fountains that cool you down on a hot summer's day. Many Southampton men lost their lives when the Titanic hit the iceberg in 1912. Here, you can read the names of all those killed fighting in the wars. If you love books and crazy paintings, come here, you'll love it. A great collection of artefacts reflecting our seafaring history in Southampton. This is an important cultural venue for big main bands and skateboarders. Southampton has been an important port for centuries. The Romans, the Saxons, the medieval kings and merchants brought great walls for defence. St. Beavis' lions guard the main gates of the city. Is that King Alfred or King Canute? No one knows. This was and still is the place of exciting goods from all around the world. The high street and entrance to West Quay, where you can buy practically anything in all the quality chain stores. There's so much choice, from iPods to snacks to clothes. Throughout Southampton, there are so many shops that you'll never run dry, whatever you need. of restaurants like Wagamama and KFC. Down there are the busy docks and cinemas. There are many means of transport here. Why not arrive by plane, train or even ship? And when you're here, travel by bus, car, taxi, or even escalator. In Southampton, there's always something for everyone. The Tudor House Museum is open, but may be haunted by ghosts. religions and many places of worship, but this is the oldest church. The sea used to come up to these walls, but the land was reclaimed for industry. There's lots of culture, art and music, if you like that sort of thing. All aboard for the Isle of Wight, or maybe a Caribbean cruise. All the famous cruise liners have docked here and cargo container ships are a common sight. Don't miss your chance to go canoeing or even sailing. Stay in the glass pyramid of the Grand Harbour Hotel. Come and visit some of the county's most famous and quality sporting venues, such as St Mary's Stadium, where loads of famous matches are held. After a long day out in Southampton, there's still more to see. Southampton, the place you need to go. Join us next time when we talk about bad stuff like pollution and traffic and poverty and stuff like that.